As you can see, I have Grayson with me and this is his 11 month update. It is crazy to think that one month he will be a year old and I will not have a baby anymore. I'll have an almost toddler. He's not walking yet, so I can still say he's a baby for just a little while longer, but he's getting so big. At 11 months old, Grayson now weighs 21 pounds and he is 29 inches long. The big thing that happened this past month is he took his first steps. He walked to dad and I will put a video in right here of that. Dada. Walk to Dada. Come here, buddy. Walk to Dada. Yeah, walk to Dada. Come here, Gregory. Walk to Dada. Oh! Yeah, you did it! You did it! You did it! Yeah, you walked to Dada. We tried to get him later on to walk to me, but he was not having it. And strangely enough, he did it twice to Anthony walked and then that's it he won't do it anymore we've tried and like set him up and tried to have him walk to either of us but he won't do it anymore he just falls unless you're holding his hands so he loves to walk around if somebody's holding his hands um, but he does not like to do it on his own and he stands all the time he, as you can see he loves to stand but he still prefers crawling everywhere and that's okay with me Grayson can play peekaboo now. He knows how to take a blanket and put it over his face. And then we say, where's Grayson? And then he lowers it and we say peekaboo and he loves it. So really cute to see him starting to like actually play games with me instead of just sitting there and watching me. Grayson has really started to love opening and closing things and also turning things on and off. He doesn't really know how to open and close and turn things on and off, but he likes to watch me do it. And I've been trying to label things, so I'll be like, on, and I'll turn on his sound machine and I'll say, off. So, like, here's a video of that. Hi! <laughs> off. On! As you can see, he loves it. He's so entertained by it. He's like just curious about everything, even my notes he's curious about. So it's really cute to see him starting to try to understand how things in our world work. Grayson is very talkative and very loud. Um, he still just says mama, dada, and uh-oh. I swear he can say hi and yeah but I'm not really sure if I'm just hearing it or if he's actually saying those things. Right now, his favorite word is dada. He will say dada all the time. He and he loves his dada. Um, I try to say no, ma, ma, ma. Sometimes he'll say mama, but mostly it's dada. Mostly it's eh, but earlier today I was getting him to say uh-oh. Every month he learns more words, and so this month he now knows zebra, phone, elephant, camera, book, laptop, teddy bear, fish, and apple, among other words, but those are just the new ones he's learned. He loves his toy zebra. He has this zebra um, in his room and he goes for it all the time and he knows what's what. He loves his toy laptop. He got it as a Christmas gift and he's obsessed with it. Here's a picture of him. He loves it. He loves the laptop, loves all of his toys, but then he loves the little things too, like empty boxes or wrapping paper, just like random stuff that's not toys. Grayson has started to fight me on his naps now, which I am not a big fan of. Some days he fights me on the morning nap. Some days he fights me on the afternoon nap. Lately, it's been more of the afternoon nap that he has been um, fighting me on and it's weird because he'll show signs that he's tired he'll suck his thumbs he'll like lay his head against my chest I'll be like okay great he's tired and it's around the normal time that he usually is tired so I'll go upstairs I'll feed him a little and then I put him to bed and I say night night 
and he just doesn't go to bed. It's so weird. I did read that some babies at this age do drop a nap some babies do drop both naps but usually if they drop a nap it's usually the morning nap and not the afternoon nap so i'm not quite sure where this is coming from him wanting to drop the afternoon nap he also has lately like i think he's gotten a cold or he's teething i can't really tell the difference i have a cold I don't know if you can hear it, but so I don't know if I got my cold from him or vice versa. I really don't know. Lately, he's been like really, really hard to get to sleep. One day earlier this week, on the day he turned 11 months old, he did not take a nap at all that whole day. I did have my mom visiting and so like that was a change and everything, but he just did not nap the whole day. It was chaos. And then of course, like the, well, and we just had the time change too. So I'm wondering if that's affecting it as well. Bottom line is he's just not taking good naps, which is really sad because I love my me time when he takes naps. I can clean, I can do things around the house. It's so hard to do things when he's around because I can't leave him for a second. He follows me everywhere and he just gets into whatever I'm trying to do. So I try to get it done like while he's napping or sleeping and it's just like, seems like he's giving me less and less time to like get things done. Grayson still absolutely loves baths and he loves bath time. All I have to say is let's go take a bath and he knows wherever we are where the bathroom is and he will go and he will stand at that bathtub and wait for me to turn the bathtub on and he loves it. He splashes and he just absolutely loves bath time, which is so fun. Grayson also really likes to destroy everything that he gets, um, especially like if we have things on a surface that he can reach standing up, he will just take everything off and put it all on the ground, which is really frustrating, but I mean, what can you do? But yes, he likes to tear things apart, take things out of things. He hasn't gotten to the point where he wants to like put things together. I know that's eventually coming, but right now he just wants to take everything apart and destroy. Grayson's hair, as you could see earlier, it's getting super long. Excuse the noise in the background. He's playing with all of his toys while I talk. What are you gonna do? His hair is getting super duper long. I don't like it. A lot of people ask me if he's a girl. Even though I always have him in like boy clothes, they, it's just bad his hair is getting so long so I am gonna have him get his hair cut later this month a week before he gets his um, one-year photo shoot done so I'm very excited about that pictures to come maybe a video I'm not quite sure Grayson still is obsessed with lights and um, like ceiling fans anywhere you're here with him if you say oh where's the light where's the fan he will look and find it for you. We went to a restaurant this past weekend and they had huge like paper lanterns, it, like tons of them hanging from the ceiling and he was just in heaven looking at all those lights. Still loves them, super cute. He still loves animals as well. He loves all of his books about animals and he still loves books. We read books all the time. He's always having me read them. Um, we m most recently got a like a dinosaur touch and feel book that he really, really likes. Um, I hope he likes books forever. I've always really liked books. Anthony isn't much of a reader, but I always have been, so I'm hoping um, Grayson will be like me and will really like reading. Grayson's favorite YouTube video is Baby Shark. I played it for him once and it was the stillest I've ever seen him. And I've started to see him like get more like willing to actually watch videos. In the past, like he would look for a couple seconds and then be like disinterested in it, but now he'll like actually watch like the whole baby shark. I know it's bad to like have kids watch videos when they're this young or whatever, but a video here and there is not gonna hurt them. We don't usually have our TV on. It's just like, if I'm sick, like today, maybe I'll put nursery rhymes on so he can watch so I can rest my voice. But yeah, he absolutely loves Baby Shark. It's so cute to see. I think that's about it for his 11 months. We only have one more monthly update to do and then he will be one. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye guys.